Well, Scottsdale Dance Studio is raising money for those affected by Russia's war on Ukraine. Renee is out there. She has more. What's going on here, Renee? Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. We are at uh, Imperial Ballroom, and we're dealing with a, a really serious subject this morning and some fundraising that's going on. And we're talking to um, dancers for Ukraine, and that is one of the hashtags that they are utilizing, really trying to give help to some of these families. And I'm talking to Artem this morning. Artem, thank you so much for inviting us. Hi, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and we've got a lot of your family and friends here. Um, tell us first what you guys are doing. Uh, first of all, we're doing the fundraiser for our families back there, for our friends, of course. We're sending humanitarian help. So we're sending clothing, uh, medications, and all like uh, long-term food that, that can be sent there and can be helpful a little bit. And you have family specifically and friends that are trying to get out of Ukraine right now. Oh, tell us a little bit about their stories. Yes, so we have, here's my wife. She has a brother in Ukraine with a wife and two kids, four years old. Yes, they went uh, to, from Kharkov, that's where they live. So when the Kharkov start get bombing, they left the Kharkov and they went to the uh, western side of Ukraine. And then uh, the wife crossed the border with two kids. Yes, and he had to stay there because we have a martial law in the country, so the guys cannot leave the country. And uh, the wife went to Poland to get the a visitor visa to visit us here. And we are fully in support of that. And we're going to help them to, to move here and buy their plane ticket and everything. And they got denied for the uh, visitor visa. I can imagine it's a bit of a helpless feeling um, for all of your family and friends right now, just trying to do anything that you can. Of course, you have your lovely family here today. But can you introduce us to the rest? So this is my wife, Ina. This is our friend, right, Luda. She's originally as well from Ukraine. She lives here right now. Her family right now in Germany, staying with some people who is helping us. This is Scott, my friend, who is supporting Ukraine, as you can see the shirt. Yes. yes. <laughs> so this is my mom. This is my daughter, Veronica. This is my mom-in-law and my dad-in-law. Wow. So they're all from Ukraine, right? And funny but my parents actually came here about two months ago so and they're right now with me here thanks god but and, we are here to help basically everybody yeah and, and luda is one of the people that have been trying to help is that right yes um tell me a little bit about what you've been doing um so i have a large family in ukraine basically my parents my sister uh over 10 cousins who have been trying to flee from Ukraine across the border. I do have friends who are missionaries there and helping them to cross the border, specifically just shuttling them from the border to places in Poland. And so we're just supporting them financially, emotionally, as much as we can. And doing everything you can, I can only imagine. Um, what can we do? Because we're certainly hearing your stories this morning. We're hearing many stories, but really, here in Phoenix and in Arizona, what can we do to help? I think uh, Scott Scott will so, tell you a little more about it okay. because I think one of the one of the frustrations one of the frustrations is we've got the administration saying one thing: we want to help, we want to help. We've got U.S. citizens willing to help. We're going to fund the whole cost: plane tickets, shelter. Nothing has to be on the taxpayers. We just need the travel visas to be issued. And we're, you know, I've called Senator Kelly, Senator Kirsten Sinema. You know, we're, we're trying to get the word out that what is being said and what reality is, it's two different things, what's going on at the embassy versus what's actually being broadcast. So that's where the real frustration is at right now. Yeah, and I can imagine your frustration. What can people do here to help um, with donations? I know you've been sending a lot of items over, and also you're offering dance classes. Yes, uh, we, we have a, a, today I open up the, uh, on the website uh, 10 group classes Yeah, for people for only $29 for 10 group classes so they can purchase and all fund will go to humanitarian help for Ukraine. Okay, and how do people reach you? Uh, they can go on the website. Uh, it's www.imperial.dance, and they can find all information over there. Okay, thank you so much thank this morning. Thank you to your family, too. Guys, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio.